guys, great news. I was minding my own business. You know when I say that, good things happen. Cleaning up the bus. It's all clean. And I ran into a couple backpackers, Claire and Teddy. Yeah. And uh, repeat, or tell me again what you guys are doing exactly. Uh, we are hiking the border of uh, Mexico from end to end. Uh, we started in San Diego and we'll end all the way over towards Brownsville. Okay. At the, the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico. The burning question everyone wants to know, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're big walkers. Okay. Uh, it's a really good way to see the world. Uh, it's a really good way to meet people. And uh, this is just an important area. Um, I think it's important to to be learning about it and not just living far off from the border and feeling like it doesn't affect you. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to get involved. We wanted to, to learn about it. Okay, so is there like a book coming? Is there, like you guys mentioned, you were blogging a little bit? <laughs> a lot, actually. Yeah, it's... It's, uh, every day is about an essay, usually, but it is getting smaller as the days go by. Um, gosh, yeah, we actually great. run into the a problem of, um, there being so much information that we're kind of running across and wanting to, like, document. Yeah. That we're being really wordy right now in our blog and trying to, like, make it a little <laughs> more concise. No, 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 yes, go for it. length. We're burning go out length. Yeah. also at the same time, so it's working out well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A great thing. It um, gets shorter. Yeah, a great and easy thing. I don't know if you guys do this voice to text. You guys voice to text? You guys typers? Typers, typers. but I, I, I think about that a lot. Yeah. I carry yeah. a tiny little keyboard in my backpack. What? Bl Bluetooth keyboard so I can, yeah. like, type away at night. <laughs> you guys are seriously my new heroes. That is so awesome. That's, I'm going to swing around because the light's a little bit better this yeah. way. Okay, so can we get, like, a little um, explanation of your gear and stuff like that as well? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. So obviously backpacks. Backpacks. Lots I of like water. I okay. like to hide mine with a solar panel so it doesn't look quite as, like, awful. Yeah. <laughs> he has a pretty yeah. old backpack. <laughs> ragged. I have a slightly newer one. It's still looking a little raggedy. Uh -huh. But um, most of what we're carrying is water. It's it's really heavy. <laughs> How many gallons of water are you guys carrying each? Uh, the heaviest we've carried is 18 liters, so four yeah. gallons of water. Yeah. Wow. 36, like 36 pounds. 36 pounds. Which, yeah. And that's, like, on top of base weight, so... Wow. Yeah. But I don't think we'll ever do that again. Uh, yeah. It's too much. So yeah. usually, leaving town, it's about 10 liters of water. Wow. Which is, you know, 20 yeah. pounds. Can I give you guys some water? I have uh, some fresh water. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, so how do you guys eat? What are you guys eating? Um, not very good stuff. I got, let's see... Like a lot of goldfish, plasticides, ramen, <laughs> crackers, ramen the lightest stuff you can find. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so you guys, you guys have like a little jet boiler or something to. Yeah, uh, I have an alcohol stove. I don't know if you know what alcohol stoves are. They're kind of like handmade little th things. They use denatured alcohol. Wow, yeah. interesting. Made it out of a can, a soda can. <laughs> really? That's very lightweight, <laughs> and that generates enough heat to to cook your ramen oh, yeah. noodles. Oh yeah, yeah, and it, you can usually get the denatured alcohol and just like. Uh, hardware store, so it's really easy. My it's gosh, simple, yeah. you guys are so cool. How long did it take to prep for this trip? Like, like mentally and, and planning and stuff. Yeah. 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 So we uh, we do a lot of long trails, um, and usually they take maybe a couple weeks with logistics. This one probably took half a year. Whoa. Logistics. Yeah. 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 Not not every day, obviously, but like we we worked oh, logistics yeah. for yeah several months, and then yeah. um, we had a whole month of. Uh, just working solely on this project. And, and we, we've been in contact with a lot of organizations that are working with kind of these border communities and with people that are crossing. So we've been, like, doing a lot of outreach. Um, we have to get a permission from, like, a lot of places, too, so we do outreach for them, you know, and con constant contact. Interesting. That took a while. It's a lot of private um, property that we're going through. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's, like, really complicated logistically to manage how to get around that or how to get permission to go through it. And how do you find out who owns the private property? hunting maps actually yeah. really yeah. there's a lot of apps yeah. out there for hunters and obviously they have to know you know what yeah. land they can go on so it's actually a really good source of information for us you guys yeah, and ironic the, uh, the program we use doesn't have every state in the I mean the 50 but it does have all the border states so we got really lucky yeah wow nice. yeah. that's yeah. insane yeah. so any plans to maybe jump on a like canoe or something once you hit the Rio Grande <laughs> Is there water? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I was just there. <laughs> um, we're pretty committed to walking. Okay. We, well, yeah. we won't, you know, we won't rule it out yet. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. but walking's just a really, it's a different way to see the see the world, and you really have to earn every step, you know. So it's yeah. it's uh, 
I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe canoe if we have to, but we'd like to keep to walking. Wow. Yeah, it sounds really silly that like one of the best things about hiking is just that it's slow, but you, you take in every single detail. You're just like constantly absorbing everything around you and uh, using all your senses. You know, you're, you're looking, you're smelling, you're doing all these things, and it's, it's just the best way to experience things. <laughs> I, I completely agree. I, I travel by land as well. <laughs> Slightly different though. <laughs> That is so. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad that I was lazy yesterday and st decided to stay here. And so, because I met you, wonder wonderful <laughs> ladies, this is such a treat for me to bump into two people who are walking the full length of the border. Hey, likewise. Yeah. <laughs> we are so sick of each other now. Like anyone we can talk to, it's, it's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, all right, now I, I offered you a shower earlier. I, I'd like to offer it to you again. I got 46 gallons of water. Feel free. You know. So. What are you saying about us? <laughs> oh no, no, I'm probably dirtier than you guys. Uh, and where uh, where can people read your blogs and your entries and stuff like this? Yeah. Uh, www.walktheborder.com. Great. Awesome. Great Walktheborder.com. Yeah. And best thing you could do is like come hike with us. <laughs> what? Yeah. No yeah. way. That's like the main thing we're like trying to push. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. I want to come hike with you guys. Really? Yeah. I gotta go eat west, but then I'll come back east. So how That's can I? How can I get in touch with you? Uh, there's there's an email on the website that Walk you can the border contact. At also, I can give you our. Okay. Information Sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you think I should walk the border with them? Comment <laughs> <Yes>. below. <laughs> I'm sure a bunch of ladies are wondering how dangerous this is to walk the border as a woman. <laughs> hmm? Well, uh, yeah. we have not had anything yeah. remotely bad happen yet. Uh, we've never felt even a little bit unsafe. Um, the scariest part is nights when you're just in your tent and you hearing everything outside and you don't know exactly what's going on out there. Yeah. Um, we have heard footsteps in the night for sure, mm -hmm. people coming by. Um, most people are not interested in having anything in their way or um, they just want to mind their own business. I would imagine they're so. trying to hide from people, yeah. right? They're trying yeah. to hide. So, yeah. And we're really strategic about where we like camp every night. So we're, whatever feels good to us, you know, like a little... Uh, area underneath a tree or next to a rock we usually can't camp at because that feels good for someone else yeah that also is comforting for them so usually we're like keeping in mind uh who's traveling through the area we usually camp kind of close to a road sometimes because border patrol is constantly coming by we usually we just have we have lots of str you know, strategy for mm. all of it too but we're scared and we're scared every night <laughs> really You're scared yeah. every night oh yeah 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 Interesting. But, i mean you know, that's part of having an adventure. Yeah. Cause you gotta like yeah. live right on the edge of being a little bit outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, that's a big part of why we're doing this is there's just a lot of racist language around exactly. this area yeah. and around dangers to women in yeah, particular. Yeah, I mean, and we came into this with preconceived notions. You know, we we I we're scared, but we're tearing down our own walls. There you, you know, go. Which is nice. So. Nice. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's been nothing but good interactions with people. Yeah. We haven't had a single nothing. bad one. Yeah. So. Amazing interaction. Okay. Yeah. Now, have you seen any uh, drug smugglers like run across the border with backpacks of drugs? <laughs> no smugglers yet. The no, way no. you um, apparently they have these big square backpacks, and that's how you know that they're smugglers. Okay. But we haven't seen any smugglers. We have seen. Um, some migrants crossing mm -hmm. um, in California, just a group of a group of five or so. Um, but they were like they were. It was really casual. They were yeah. pretty young. Yeah, they, they kind of hid in the bushes for like a second when they saw us, and then were kind of like meh, and then just kept on their way. Ran to the closest road. We watched a car pull up. They jumped in the car. Really? And we just kind of sat and watched it but play out. It was it was crazy because it was right next to a really busy road. So yeah. in the five minutes it took them to run to the car, probably. 30 cars passed. You know, wow. At least 30 people. And it was all yeah. just full daylight in view of the road. Like, nobody seemed to really be much bothered by it. So. Wow. Yeah. We were surprised. Yeah. We were like... Yeah, we were like... You have a bigger yeah. deal. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, we were like, maybe they're over for the evening, just getting some, like, lunch and stuff and heading back. <laughs> wow. That is... So, wow. That, what an interesting story. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else that you guys want to add that maybe I didn't ask? It's uh, of interest? Of interest, um, yeah. Um, we'll be we'll be out for at least like three more months, so we've got a lot to go and a yeah. lot of it's, it's emotionally draining. So any any support or mail that you send us or like I said, hiking with us, hiking with best. us is the best yeah. thing. Yeah, we would, we would yeah. love that because but it is three more months. So we're like, oh. <laughs> um, do you guys have any like weapons with you or anything for self defense? Uh, we have pepper spray, uh, 
Knife. We have a flare gun, which we just got actually. Cool. Uh, the nice thing about this area is there's it's really monitored by Border Patrol. Yeah. So if you are in a scary situation, like help is pretty close by. So all you need to do with the flare gun, we thought. Do you, do you guys want a small air horn that's like very very small? Um. Oh. Interesting <laughs> idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's give yeah, him the let's give him the air gun. I just was cleaning house and I have it right here. See, look, look at how light it is, too. Do you have, I mean, are you ready without your air gun now? I, I haven't even used it. You want to test it? <laughs> yeah. Should we? Yeah. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. all right, huh? That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Let's that's scare really the crap good. out of somebody. Yeah. Here, let's get yeah. a, a view with uh, the light here. That's, yeah. That is really great. Cool. Yeah, so we're, we're constantly, like, revamping our security kind of <laughs> measures, and, and this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really in a pretty small package, yeah. pretty lightweight, not too much we weight our, to carry, huh? Yeah, we have our uh, flare gun. We bring out like, the flare gun. They're kind of we hard to find, surprisingly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> flare gun. That here. looks intimidating, even if you're yeah. just pointing it at someone. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of a funny contraption. But, you know, it, any, any little additional thing helps. Yeah. We're kind of like, why not, you know? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Probably not necessary, <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> Thank you.